Hi everyone, so this is our second video uh, screencast on Custodio and what we're going to do in this screencast is we're going to install Custodio on our child's phone. So I'm currently at the App Store, so I'm going to look for the Custodio app. And in the results, you're going to get a few different results, and the one you, you want to install is the Kids App Custodio. So I'm going to click on the download button. Um, you'll probably see right away that it has a very low rating. Uh, this is because the people who rate this app are the kids who have the Kids App version installed on their phones. Okay, The other versions up here are for adults and that's what has all of the settings for um, screen time and things in it. This is the kids app is the one that controls or is controlled by the parental app. All right so now that we have installed it okay, we click on open okay. and since I already have an account I'm going to log in. If you don't have an account uh, you can watch the first video on getting um, our custodial environment set up. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video here and when I'll be back with you after I've logged in. Okay, so I'm logged in and so I'm at the welcome screen and you can see it has options to protect this device or try parents app instead. So if you're on your phone you should be using the parents app if this is your child's phone, then this is the app that you want to be installing. So we're going to click on Protect This Device. Okay. iPhone name. So if you recall from the first video, I created, instead of creating two kids for each of my daughters, I actually created um, a kid for each device so we can uh, manage them separately. So this one I'm going to call the generic name that I used when setting up the account. Okay, so I called this, this would be called child2 iPhone. Okay, and that'll just make it easier for me to remember when I go back into the parent console. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna say child2 iPhone is using this. Okay. And then it's going to take you through the rest of the settings. So we want to allow notifications. Okay, now it's going to download a profile. Um, this profile is going to be owned by you. And that is what's going to allow the parental um, console to control or to limit um, the functionality of this phone. I'm going to go to download now. I'm going to download the profile. Okay, yes, allow. Profile has been downloaded. We close this, we click on done, and then it's going to ask us to go to settings so we can install the profile. So I'm going to go to settings, and then you should see here uh, profile downloaded. I'm going to click there, and then we're going to install this profile. This password is the uh, passcode for opening up the iPhone. Okay, so when you're doing this with your child, um, you can get them to in input their passcode. Okay, install. We're going to trust. All right, so that's done. Okay, and now we can go back to the Custodio app. Just going to register that this has been installed and then we can continue on. Okay, so I'm just going to click on manage here. All right, so your child can't, once we manage this, your child can no longer remove this um, profile without having your uh, custodio login. All right, so we're going to allow, well, I'm going to allow location permission. Uh, that just means that you can see where your child is. Um, if you're already using Find My, that can work as well. Okay, 
Okay, so we're going to click on, you can't see this right now, but I'm clicking on allow while using app. And then change to always allow. Okay. Alright, so all done. This device is now protected. So now in the next video, screencast, we'll go back to our parent admin panel and we'll be able to see this device in the admin panel and we can start setting up uh, the screen time settings. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please click like and or subscribe and we'll see you next time.